Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's discuss the grammar topics in the vocabulary section from lesson 10 from the newest edition of the book, Apprenons le Français, part 3. In the previous video, we went through the unseen passage from lesson 10 and the exercises based on the unseen passage. Now let's uh, discuss the grammar topics. Uh, so the first grammar topic is les adjectifs interrogatifs, the interrogative adjectives. Um, so uh, we know that to interrogate is nothing but to ask questions. So these interrogative adjectives um, are used to ask questions in French. There are four interrogative adjectives in French and all of them sound exactly the same. Uh, these are the four interrogative adjectives. As, as you can see, there's one for masculine singular form, one for feminine singular one for masculine plural and one for feminine plural. And the spellings are also different, right? But all these four interrogative adjectives sound exactly the same. Kel, Kel, Kel and Kel. And all the four of them translate to what or which. So if you want to ask questions in French, uh, like which book do you like? Which season do you prefer? Which movies do you watch? Uh, which film are you watching right now? Um, so if you want to ask questions using what or which, uh, we make use of the interrogative adge adjectives. Um, but Q-U-E-L is used in front of all the masculine singular nouns. So suppose if you want to ask someone, which book do you read? You can say quel livre lit you. Which book are you reading? So over here, the word livre is a singular word. So uh, quel is also in the singular form. This way, uh, we use the word Q-U-E-L-L-E -L -L -E in front of all the feminine singular nouns. For example, you can say, um, quel, um, quel page, um, which page, or uh, you can say something like, quel robe port you, which dress are you um, uh, wearing? Uh, since robe is a feminine singular noun, we put Q-U-E-L-L-E -L -L -E in front of it. Then Q-U-E-L-S is the plural form. For example, you can say uh, Kel Roma uh, lead you. Which novels are you reading? So since Roma is in the plural form and since it's a masculine word, we write Q-U-E-L-S in front of it. Then we use Q-U-E-L-L-E-S in front of all the uh, feminine plural words. So for example, we can say Kel uh, Vodhyur with you which cars do you drive which cars are you driving so this is how we use the interrogative adjectives in simple sentences um, these are the four interrogative adjectives so let's go through all these points and examples these are the four interrogative adjectives kel 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 and kel um, the adjective kel agrees with the noun so just like any other adjective in french the interrogative adjectives also agree with the noun like in the masculine singular form we use kel feminine singular form it is q u e l l e the masculine plural form is q u e l s and the feminine plural form is Q-U-E-L-L-E-S. So, um, some examples are given over here. Quel livre lit you? Quel robe achet you? And usually, quel is uh, followed by um, a noun. Like, you can see, quel is followed by livre here. Quel is followed by robe in the second example. And in all these examples also, you can see that the interrogative adjective quel is followed by a noun, right? But the only verb that separates kel from its noun is etre verb. So if you're using etre verb, the, the noun and the interrogative adjective kel are separated. So for example, kel e votre nom, what is your name? Kel e la question, what is the question? So here, question is the noun in the feminine singular form. And so kel, the interrogative adjective kel is, in, is also in the feminine singular form. And etre verb is the uh, verb that's, that's separating these 
too. Like um, you can ask someone, quelle question pose you? What, which question are you asking? But if you use the ethra verb, uh, the, the interrogative adjective and the nouns get separated. So this is about the interrogative adjectives. Let's uh, move ahead. The next topic is, Qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire? What do you like to do? Um, and there are a few expressions over here using the verb faire and using the verb jouer. So using these expressions, you can talk about what you like doing in simple sentences. Let's go through these expressions one by one. Faire des photos is to take photos. Faire une randonnée to go hiking. Faire du surf is uh, to do surfing. Faire du jogging is to do jogging. Faire un picnic is to do is to go on a picnic. Faire de la natation is to do swimming. Faire de la wall to go sailing. Um, faire de l'aerobic is to do uh, aerobics. Uh, faire de la gymnastique uh, to do gymnastics. So these are some of the expressions using the verb faire. Um, and you can use it in simple sentences. Like you can say, elle fait des photos. She takes photos. Mm, elle fait une randonnée. She does hiking or she's going hiking. Uh, you can say, uh, nous faisons du jogging. We, we go jogging. Uh, and then using the verb joué, you have a few more expressions. You have joué au golf, to play golf. Joué au cricket, to play cricket. Joué au hockey, to play hockey. Joué au card, to play cards. Joué aux échecs, to play chess. Joué au jeu vidéo, to play video games. Joué au basket or joué au basketball, to play basketball. Jouer au volley or jouer au volleyball to play volleyball. So using the verb jouer, uh, we can talk about any sports. There are a few note points over here. It's given we use the verb faire to make or to do. It's followed by the preposition d, uh, preposition the, with activities including sports. So you can talk about these sports activities using the verb fair also, but it's always followed by the preposition DE or any other forms of DE. Like if you want to say to play cricket or to do cricket, we just say fair du cricket. All right. Uh, if you want to say to play hockey or to do hockey, we say fair du hockey. Um, and then uh, we can say fair du basket, fair um, du volleyball, etc. Um, uh, then it's given. We use the verb jouer with games and sports that we actually play. And it's followed by the preposition a. Uh. So in French, it's a rule that the uh, verb jouer is always followed by the preposition a uh, or any forms of a uh, like o or aux, ala, etc. Um, so in French, we say jouer au criquet, not jouer le criquet or jouer le basket, but it's always jouer au basket. So uh, another note point, we use the verb jouer followed by the preposition de with musical instruments. So when you're talking about musical instruments like playing guitar, playing violin, playing flute, etc., that time we use de, du, or d apostrophe, etc. But while talking about sports, uh, we use the preposition au, aux, etc. So for example, je joue de la guitar. I play guitar. Je joue du piano. I play piano. Je joue du viola. I play violin. So this way, while talking about musical instruments, we use du, de la, uh, des or del apostrophe. And while talking about sports, we are supposed to use uh, uh, we, we are supposed to use au, ala, al apostrophe or aux. Um, then for more expressions using the verb fair, it's given you can refer to the belong section. So with this, we complete the grammar topics from lesson 10. In the next video, let's discuss the exercises. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, a bientôt. See you soon.